We recently had this headboard made for our bedroom and what I really love about it is you've got this shelf section at the top so it's perfect if you want to store books or maybe just pop your phone on there at night and it was a really cheap thing to have made, it's just made of raw MDF so nothing expensive but obviously it looks a little bit plain and boring at the moment so I'm going to spice it up with some DC Fix and introduce some different colours and wood grains to it. This had to be painted with an emulsion before I could put the DC Fix onto it so it was a raw MDF and the plastic won't fully adhere unless you painted it just with some white paint so again nothing expensive. First thing to do is measure the sides and the top section and then the front panel section I'm going to draw a line across which will work and would allow me to have a guide so I can make sure I get straight lines as I stick the different wood grains effect, effects on um, and I want probably between four and five bricks as I'm going to call them even though it's wood um, on the front section there and on the back of the sticky back plastic there is actually grid markings so they're in centimetre squares a bit like a maths book that you'd have at school so if you haven't got a tape measure handy you can always use that as a guide so I've got loads and loads of these different um, brick woodwork effects here all cut and ready to go and what I've also done just to act as a guide for the first line so that it sits nice and straight so I've used the ruler just across the um, whole headboard there and drawn a line straight the way across 10 centimetres down so I know that each of these panels on that first line will sit flush against that and then from then on I can use that as a guide to ensure that they're all completely straight. I'm going to start sticking them on from this side closest to me, work across and then work back and forward in that patchwork effect. So starting with the light brown and as I said, I've drawn that guideline on there so I can use that to line it up. I'm just going to peel back the backing paper. And you've got the smoother from the DC Fix application kit, and this has got a felt covered side that's black, and that's nice and smooth. You can just use it to help get out any little air bubbles that might be trapped underneath the plastic. What I really want to do is try and avoid having two of the same colour next to each other or even kind of above and below each other, so I need to just Keep an eye on which colours are where and try and build that up. So what I'm going to do now is place a panel in the centre of this section. So just imagining that this one here is going to sit in the middle just of those where those two meet. And then what I can do is go back and fill this one in afterwards and trim it from the side. But I don't want them to sit completely underneath each other. So I'm just finishing off the top and the side sections. I've already done the far side. I'm just going to trim off all of these excess bits here before I stick down the rest of the top. So just using the scalpel. I'm pushing that right up against the edge of the headboard. And also what I love about this is before, when it was MDF, if I'd placed like a coffee cup or something on the top, it definitely would have left a stain, whereas now this is completely wipeable, so it also makes it more usable and practical going forward. 